we got one that says, I wish I knew more ways to uh, network and generally just how to get my content seen. So this one is definitely a tricky one. Getting your content seen is, is super difficult. And Tal and I briefly talked about this in the last episode as well. Um, in general, consumers uh, or viewers, or as I like to call people, but the people who do watch videos or uh, consume uh, art in some way, I said consumers not because you know art has to be monetized in some way. I just mean that's a good way of describing people who indulge in art forms, you know. Uh, art indulgers, I guess. <laughs> um, they're not actively looking for new content most of the time. Uh, I'm sure you subscribed, you might have subscribed to a couple different people on YouTube, right? I hope I'm one of them. Now, if you've subscribed to a couple of different people on YouTube, how often are you specifically looking for people to subscribe versus stumbling across people and then subscribing to them? I imagine you're not actively looking that often. Um, it could be different because you're watching this, then you're probably interested in content creation in some way. And usually I find that content creators look a little bit more for other people like them, uh, more than just the average viewer. Um, but average people, if you just think of your siblings or your friends, they're probably not actively looking for content. That makes it really difficult to network because it means you kind of have to go the extra step of presenting the content to them. Getting your content seen, that's kind of the second part of that. That's... That's definitely a struggle. Um, getting your content seen is the constant uh, struggle on YouTube because by now YouTube's been around for so long and has been the biggest uh, video platform for so long that the the market is totally oversaturated. Pretty much any kind of game you want to play or any kind of video you want to make, there's already been thousands and thousands of videos already based on that one topic. Uh, the people who have been successful at gaining a large audience on YouTube um, are people who have entirely capitalized their personality into their content uh, to make it not feel like it's the same content that's already all over the platform. And that's just kind of my advice is that uh, in your work, you want to make sure that your personality is very much seen. I think I might have even mentioned this in in the announcement video I did about the, you know, the PetNets Mastercast or whatnot. Uh, you want to you want to make your content very much yourself. And because yourself is the closest thing that's going to be unique about your content. Absolutely nobody has ever walked in the same shoes as you in the same time, in the same space, and had the exact same interest in the same thoughts. You truly are uh, unique. And I know that sounds like cheesy, but that's actually the truth of it. Content's not. Content is not unique. Um, there's so many aspects of content that's just been done so many times before. Any kind of magical Minecraft Let's Play you come up with, you're still gonna be playing Minecraft into a microphone intended for an audience with or without face cam doesn't matter everything all that's all been done before right um i think people get caught in this trap of thinking so much about a concept that could be unique something that hasn't been done before that they entirely forget who who is trying to think of that which is themselves that's already unique that's your that's your golden ticket if you make your personality your content then you're going to be making like close to unique content um there's arguments that nothing in this world is actually truly unique and uh there's plenty of really interesting videos that you can watch about that uh, online. Ultimately though, if you even if you can't make something that is actually unique, you can still trick people into thinking it is unique. And I think that's just kind of the key point is that a lot of the people who you think are very original YouTubers, they're making you think that way because they're less similar to the other people around them. Um, and people ultimately on YouTube, YouTube's kind of a strange, um, more intimate uh, environment, for lack of a better word, than traditional like TV um, or uh, traditional like radio or whatnot, because a lot of people who come there to consume content consume content specifically for the creator, whether they really know it or not, but it's the individual's creator's touch to the videos that makes them actually like it, as opposed to TV. Like there's a reason people watch YouTube and not TV at given points in time. I'm not saying that nobody watches TV, although some could argue that's on its way out. Um, there's a reason that there was like a little bit of a creator boom in the YouTube atmosphere. And that's because it was made by individual people, not corporations, not advertising companies. It was made by people who want to create something that they're passionate about. If you utilize that, you're at least going to have a shot. If you don't utilize that, you're actually not going to have, there's, there's almost no chance. If you're not yourself in your videos, or I mean, like, that's not to say you can't play characters, right? Like people, you know, act and stuff all the time on YouTube. That's totally fine. That's still something that you're passionate about. That's still using your personality to create something else. 
If your thing is, if your content is purely based off of somebody else's content, though, somebody else's personality, if you are specifically trying to be um, James Charles, uh, Shane Dawson, I'm just trying to think of like popular YouTubers who aren't gamers because I've already used so much gaming references, but like, let's just say Markiplier, right? If you want to be like any of those people specifically and you start trying to use the, their mannerisms or whatnot, um, then what is a viewer, what incentive does a viewer have to watch that as opposed to the real deal? Um, however, if you use your own personality, then the viewers can find something that they don't usually see every day. Hey there, you just watched a clip from my creative podcast. If you'd like to check out the full episode, you can support me over on Patreon. And if not, you can subscribe to check out more clips coming here soon.